everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. It's our final day on Icon of the Seas, and we are stopped at Coco Cay, Royal Caribbean's private island. And today, they're grand opening a new adults-only section of the island called Hideaway Beach. We'll give you a comprehensive tour of the beach, including the party pool, the bars, the music, and the dining options. And we'll also show you our Hideaway Cabana, which offers a VIP oasis away from the party and your own infinity pool. We'll have fun with all our friends, and we'll try to determine if Hideaway Beach is worth paying extra on your next trip back aboard Icon. We'll take in some of the unique entertainment and have dinner at one of the best kept secrets on the entire ship. Come with us on this adventure. back at Coco Cay, which is Royal Caribbean's private island, and it's the first time we've been here since March of 2022 when Kitra broke her ankle. We refer to that as the incident. The incident. Yes. So this is my redemption tour. I'm not going to lie, I have a little bit of PTSD about being back here, but yeah. I'm just excited to be back because we didn't even get to like halfway explore the island the last time. <laughs> and this time, Hideaway Beach has officially opened so we're gonna be some of the first people in this new area. Yeah, we're gonna do some fun stuff today. I'm just excited to walk around and see the island with a non-broken ankle. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I know. Baby, I was the one map of the entire island and we explored some of it last time we didn't explore a lot of that but this is the new area over here it's called hideaway beach and it literally opened just for the sailing i'm excited to explore it you can walk to hideaway beach but the preferred method is get on these like small little golf cart trams they'll bring you there in just a couple minutes impressions is that this area is huge it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be and they are bumping music kind of like the adult area on the ship which for some reason I wasn't expecting but well that was the hideaway pool yeah, so they got to bring the DJ down here and make it even louder <laughs> <laughs> but we're actually gonna go check out a cabana so that should be cool so hideaway beach is supposed to be the first adult only getaway a perfect day at Coco Cay and to get in here it can cost you anywhere from 50 hundred dollars depending on your cruise. I didn't realize that we had our own like swim up pool as part of this cabana. Wow. So we're staying at cabana number 79 thanks to our friends Random Recess. <laughs> we're already guys? here. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers everyone. You already got the drink started. That's right. That's right. Did you get the special Coco K, K drink? I forgot uh, what it's no, called. I didn't know there was one. I'm in the Bahamas, started with a Bahamas. Oh, one. yes. And I love you guys have like your matching hats. That's right. I love it. We yeah, all got yeah. bucket hats yeah. for uh, sir, uh, you. Yeah. Okay. I missed the memo apparently. Oh, wow. okay. oh my God. So we just got here and this is freaking amazing. I guess I didn't process that we were getting our own, like the cabana people had their own pool. Well, this I cabana know. That does. is worth it. Oh, this this level of cabana. Yeah, there's a different level that doesn't have a own private but, like, pool. But I feel like if you want your privacy and it's not as noisy over here as it was when we first walked in, Yeah. this is like the way to go. And this is huge. The hideaway DJ, you can listen to the band that's on the rocks bar. Or you cannot if you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got our own sink. Yeah, What's down cool. here? Oh, yeah. trash, storage. Oh my God, we got a whole stocked and loaded. Oh my gosh. Look at all the Trulies I could drink. <laughs> they got Trulies, wow. they got wine in the can, they got Coke. There's no Coke Zero points deducted. But the good news is if you don't want anything in there, you can literally order anything you want. <laughs> They'll bring it to you. 
So this is nice to have, but if you want a Coke Zero or like a different kind of cocktail or something, we have a server like ready to go, which is insane. I feel so grateful that we got invited to go to this because this is something that we would never like splurge on ourselves. Yeah. And this is already like a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. Like this is massive. Okay, let's take a look at let's it. Let's do a quick tour. So right over here we have our swinging chair, which you know I'm going to be in. Right next to the swinging chair is two couches, enough to fit the whole family. A table with, oh, we didn't. Need, we don't even have to check out towels. You got nice. the towels here. Oh look, you got menus here. So you, I think you can just like push this button right here and they'll come over and take your order. On the side of the cabana, you get your own shower, own private shower. I mean, I want to say private, but it's loaded and open, so it's not quite private. But you get your own shower. You just want a nice cold bottle of water that got you covered. It's actually hidden in this little table. <laughs> there we go. With a bunch of ice. It's like a little cooler. That's cool. That is cool. Literally. It's very cool. <laughs> Part of me is like, I just want to stay here all day and never leave. Oh my god, we got our own fan. That's my number one fan right there. <laughs> <laughs> number one ordinary adventure fan. Yes. Okay, that is look, looks as fun as I thought it was going to look. So much fun. I love that they even have shade right above the loungers. Because I, you know, who wants, who wants to sit in the sun? I mean, I'm sure some people do, but, you know, I just want to sit in the shade. The water's actually warm. It's like nice, because it's like kind of an overcast day. Wow. Bougie. Oh no, look at my tan lines for my, my sandals. Wait, who let you in here? Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know, but this place <laughs> is a lovely. I'm somehow all the way at the end. I didn't even know this existed. I don't want to do it right now, but eventually I'll swim all the way down to yours because it's all connected. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a party. This is nuts. This is insane. Like, yeah. I did not, like the heated pool too. Yes. This is like, I didn't know they did this and I'm so glad I was delightfully surprised. This is great. This is so awesome. An infinity pool on a island paradise. You have to like pry me out of this pool. I do want to go in this little man-made like lagoon here. Because that seems nice. You don't have to worry about like the waves crashing on you. Nice calm waters. And then of course they have a bunch of like food stands and we got to go by the party pool eventually. You know, I just want to chill in this pool for a little bit first. So I decided to order one of the menu items that you could get here that is exclusive to the cabana and that's the coconut shrimp. Ooh, okay. It comes with like little french fries, some sauce. I feel like this is the breakfast of champions. I haven't eaten anything else today and it's still morning time. This is actually surprisingly good and I love that they give you like a small portion so you could order different things and try it out, you know what I mean? It's not just one gigantic portion. It's just a nice little portion just for me. And I'm giving these a five out of five. Even though we can order the food to our cabana, we want to check out the rest of Hideaway Beach. So we're gonna use that as an excuse to go walk around. <laughs> our cabana is actually pretty close to the pizza area which is good because I want some pizza. The beach down here seems super nice. Like the sand is white and very fine. Yeah, the sun just came out. And I heard like if we go all the way to the end of this area, there's a good view of the ship. So we'll have to slowly make our way there. But first you want to get some pizza? Yeah, it's okay. funny that they're like pumping the DJ music even in the pizza place. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> obnoxious, but I don't, you know, it's not what I was expecting. Put it that way. So the pizza place in Hideaway Beach is called Slice of Paradise, and that's the first time they've had pizza on Coco Cay, which is kind of surprising because pizza is so, such a popular thing over on the ship with Sorrento's. So they have a bunch of different pizzas here you can get. Classic cheese, you can get pepperoni, they have island guava barbecue chicken, and they even have a bohemian seafood pizza. And they also serve some empanadas. And I got myself a slice of the island guava barbecue chicken pizza. This has island guava barbecue sauce that adds a tangy twist with grilled chicken, fresh cut onions, and bell peppers. Honestly, this just tastes like a good barbecue pizza. It does taste like a pizza slice from Sorrento's, which I've actually kind of fallen in love with on this cruise. I've been going there late at night and grabbing a couple slices, but it's not like they're like wood fire oven here. It's, it's like the same kind of thing. I give it like a four to five Peters. Wow. Yeah, enjoy it. The sauce is like not too sweet, it's a little bit more tangy than sweet. This music in the background is so funny. Is it like 1999 again and I'm at a rave or what? 
apparently. They also sell these mini empanadas there. You can either get chicken or beef. I got one of each. These are surprisingly tasty. They're small, tiny, but packed full of flavor. Yeah, I like it. I'd give it maybe like a three and a half out of five. So if you're wondering what the actual hideaway pool looks like, this is what it looks like. It's a party pool. People have like big oversized beach balls. There's a DJ in the middle of the pool. It's but, kinda cool that the DJ is like literally just on an island in the middle of the pool. And I love that like you can actually swim up to the bar. There's like a huge swim up bar. Yeah. But it's a little loud over here for us because we're fuddy dead. Well this seems similar to the other like, isn't there another swim up party pool on the island? Yeah, like why why not make this different than that? I guess there's yeah. no kids allowed here. Oh yeah, there's no kids here. Yeah. That's the difference. I guess the question is, would you pay fifty to hundred dollars to have an area that is free of kids but it's still loud? party section and then like a, a quiet section, you know, have it split off. I, I mean, they do have a quiet section, but then you gotta pay. Yeah, but then you gotta get a cabana, right? Yeah. <laughs> I hate hammocks. Why do you hate hammocks? Once you get in, it's gonna be so hard to get out and it's so hard to get in. <laughs> okay, come find me in five hours, wake me up because I'm not getting out. They even have some games on the beach and they have some hammocks that you can hang out in, like Ketra. And of course, you can find whatever lounger you want to hang out. And then up here, looks like they have like some kind of bird kite. That's cool. So this is actually the Hideaway Beach, which is what this whole section is named after. It's like this cute little lagoon. I want to go in, even if it's cold. I just want to go in and see what it's like. Oh. <laughs> what? It's cold. It's cold? Yeah. But terrible, but. It's a little chilly. Yeah. Let's get in. <laughs> I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Okay, well. It is very picturesque, and I'm assuming if you weren't here at this time of year, if you're actually here during warmer months, yeah. it would be not very nice. Well, it's just funny, because it's been like so humid and hot like every day except for today, yeah. and a little bit yesterday. But it's still nice. It's still like the sun is out. It's just not like, aggressively humid. Yeah, we're just here in the middle of winter. Yeah, do you want get, to just get in a little bit more or no? You can. I'll watch you. <laughs> I thought like the more I got in the better it would be it just gets colder and colder and colder and colder I prefer our cabana heated pool thanks <laughs> wow such a snob I will say this sand is very nice yeah it's nice nice and soft oh no one of the ball, pool balls rolled all the way down here are we gonna get it back up there <laughs> I can't throw it that far. Yeah, that's fine. You can do it. We'd like to thank Upside for sponsoring this portion of today's video. As you guys know, we love Upside. It's an amazing app that allows you to get cash back whenever you buy gas, groceries, or when you dine out. We like to use it. We go on the app and we find new restaurants that we've never been to before because they're offering a discount. So it kind of keeps things a little fresh. It is so easy to use. All you gotta do is claim the offer, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, follow the simple steps in the app, and then you get cash back. Upside is launching a new contest called All the Fills, and the grand prize is free gas for an entire year. And it is so easy to enter. All you gotta do is post a short 10 to 30 second video sharing how you feel when you earn cash back and then post it to social media. All submissions must use the hashtag all the fills. The winner will receive $2,500 cash prize, which is the equivalent of a year of free gas, and weekly winners will get $200. Imagine what it'll feel like to win this. Like, imagine what it'll feel like yeah. to have free gas for an entire year. Yeah, what would we spend that on? I don't know. It's a lot <laughs> Probably of like dog treats for our dogs or something. <laughs> I'm not sure if you knew this, but there's over 100,000 gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants on the Upside app, which means that cash back is just right around the corner. And if frequent Upside users earn an average of $340 per year, it's so easy. Find out how much you can earn by downloading the free Upside app, link in the description below. Use our promo code ORDINARY and get an extra 25 cents cash back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. Then post your video for a chance at free gas 
for a year. One million dollars cash back is being earned by users every week. Start saving today. And now, back to our adventure. And of course, there's bars all over here, so if you have your unlimited beverage package, you can make that to use on this island. Uh, otherwise, you gotta pay for the cocktails, obviously. Another place you could grab food here is the Hideaway Hut, where they have a nice variety of stuff from around the island, like burgers, fries, chicken sandwiches, mozzarella sticks. They even have that coconut shrimp that I tried earlier. I don't know why I thought that was exclusive to the cabana, but it's not. You can get it here if you want. But what we came for to try today is the Hideaway Crispy Chicken Sandwich. This is, I believe, like the famous, kind of internet famous chicken sandwich that they have around the island that we didn't get to try last time when we were so sad. Because you know, I broke my ankle. I told Peter, while I was like in the emergency room on the ship, I was like, you could go back out and get the crispy chicken sandwich, but he didn't want to. I'm like, no. He wanted to, ridiculous. well, I wanted you to go get it for me and bring, uh, but yeah, you didn't know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, but so we're finally going to get to try it. And there is like a little secret menu hack where you could get the mozzarella sticks and the marinara sauce and put them in the sandwich. Are we going to do that or are we just going to eat it by itself? I think we need to do that. Really? Yeah. Okay. This is going to be fun. <laughs> What am I doing with my <laughs> Alright, ready? Yep. This just seems like very difficult to eat. Like look how big it is. How how on earth am I supposed to do this? It's good. It's a lot though. But I do like that it adds like some ooey gooey cheese and just more deep friedness to this monstrosity of a sandwich. I'd probably prefer it like just the chicken sandwich though and then eat the mozzarella sticks separately. But you know, if you if you don't have that much time and you you want to be efficient, put it, shove them in there and try it. Four out of five. It's good, but it's not. I was expecting like my mind to be blown. You know what I mean? I like how the restrooms are like women this way and men this way. <laughs> oh, and look, the little like hand washing area has like buoy or what are those? I don't know. You know those things that who knows? We're not sea people, okay? <laughs> on the rocks which is the bar all the way to the end in hideaway beach it has an awesome view of the ship from here and it's kind of fun there's like a live band that plays and when the band isn't playing you can still kind of hear the music from the pool but i feel like it's like at a lower volume which i appreciate <laughs> like at the pizza place it was like blasting but they have a bar here there's a pool table there's a bunch of chairs to like sit and look at the ocean and they have one exclusive drink over here it's called the bohemian sky juice this is gin condensed milk and coconut water. Mm. <laughs> what was that? Oh, okay. Um, not for you? <laughs> not for me. It'll be for somebody. I like the addition of the condensed milk because it gives it like a little bit kind of like a frothy consistency, but it basically just tastes like gin and uh, coconut water, which two of my, I don't really love either of those things. So I, I wanted to try it just because it was something different, but not my favorite for me personally. One and a half out of five. So I had to get myself their signature special drink. It's called the Coco Loco. And this has orange juice, pineapple juice, papaya juice, coconut cream, dark rum, and coconut rum and grenadine. So basically it's kind of like a pina colada but with some more tropical juices to it. Yeah, we got that when we came here last time and I remember it being really good. Yeah, I'm excited to, to relive it. It's basically like a pina colada but you have that papaya juice and some orange juice in there. Tastes a little bit more tropical. We loved this last time. I still love it. It's five out of five, Peter. Would you say you went you went loco for some coco loco, or that the coco loco is gonna make you go loco? Sure. Closer to the main pool, they do have some hideaway cabanas. These are a different price. You don't have the infinity pool in front of it, and you are closer to the music. I think there's also day beds right there. But you do have an infinity pool just steps away. If you want to be closer to the party, maybe this is where you want to go. We missed you. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, we just explored the Hideaway Beach. Get in here now. Come on. Friends you've ever, like, literally so loud. I'm sorry. I will say that this is the best area of Hideaway Beach right here. It also has the best people. 
Yeah. That is true. Yeah. You guys look good right here. Look at this. It's a good shot. Yeah. I'm not sure this is gonna work, Ashley. Oh no, this is not gonna go. Oh. Don't oh, wow. tell me, Tito. Oh, all right. I was right in the middle of saying, don't doubt me, pizza, and then I almost drowned, so <laughs> doubt me, pizza. You got the yeah. yeah. It works. It works. Well, that looks so. Oh! <laughs> Everything go underwater like other people here. I'm not going to name names. <laughs> The thing I love about this infinity pool is it's, it's like one long pool. It's almost like a lazy river in itself. Not that you're supposed to like go into other people's areas or whatever, but we know most of the people on this side. So it's like, just keep on going. We're going down to see our friends who are at a cabana at the very end. There's 10 cabanas over here, but this one at the corner, best view. Welcome to our side of the pond. It's, it's a lot louder over here. <laughs> we got the sun over here. Yeah. Oh, you got like an awesome. Yeah, we got the end. Oh, this is nice. Look at the corner lot. No neighbors on one side. Lots of room for activity. Oh, wow. You got a good view of the ship. It's been ruined for perfect day, probably for the rest of my life. This was like literally the most amazing experience. I think our friends random recess for inviting us out here. I mean, who doesn't want, like just, you can just hop in the pool. You've got the beach there. There was sunshine. The service here is incredible. Yeah. Like you literally just push a button and they just show up and they're like, what would you like to eat? What would you like to drink? It, the food, the drink. I mean, they come within minutes. I mean, this is, this is how you do a beach cabana pool day. This is amazing. When you think of luxury, this is what you think of. Shout out to Random Recess again. Yes. I will never, like I, I literally can't come back here unless I have like private butler cabana. Like it ruined me. <laughs> it's like flying first class. It's like you never want to be basic again. The cervix to Kidder's point, we had the best day ever. <laughs> this cabana was definitely worth it. I think it goes from like 1500 to 3,000 depending on the voyage and if there's two ships here or just one ship or time of the year. That said, I'm not sure I love Hideaway Beach as a whole. I think for 50 to 100 bucks, you could go elsewhere on the island and have a lot of fun without paying that. But if you have a whole group and you can afford to rent out one of these cabanas, 100% recommend. Now we're on our way back to the ship. We're on like the party tram. People are going wild. <laughs> so what did you think of Hideaway? I had a great time. I was like literally just telling Peter, I was like, I'd want to get another cabana if we came back. But would you would you go to Hideaway without a cabana? If the price was under like $40 maybe. Otherwise, I'd say just enjoy the island. One of these days, we're going to do the water park here. But we still haven't experienced this whole island. I know. I feel kind of bad, but like I had so much fun in the cabana. Well, I had a perfect day at Coco Cay. We'll be back sooner than you guys think. And then we'll, we'll experience the whole island. We're back on the ship. We spent all day in the pool. What do you guys want to do? Let's go back into the pool. Yes. yourself. Now would be a great time, whales. If you wanted to show yourself, I would love to see you. Wow, this guy is so beautiful tonight. Look at that. It's like you don't know where the sea ends and the, the sky begins. Now there's going to be some sort of pirate party parade. We made our way down to the Royal Promenade. I'm excited to see it. 
I love that like they do stuff like this on these big ships. And it's crazy because people are actually sitting in the Pearl. Why didn't we think of that? I didn't think there'd be a crowd, honestly, but like people are people are excited. <laughs> than it should have been. That was amazing. I don't know what my expectations were, but like that exceeded them. Everybody was great. There was like different segments, fun music. I want to see it again. It was just kind of like heartwarming seeing all the entertainment yeah. staff from the Aqua Dome to the ice skate, like from all over the ship coming together and we're gonna like put on a show. Like the best part was when they all started battling each other and then like the like it came over the intercom and it's like, what are you guys doing? You are on a cruise ship. And then he was like, the biggest cruise ship in, in the, the world. world. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, we are. We're here for the inaugural sailing of the biggest cruise ship in the world. If you book this cruise, make sure to come see this. And anywhere you see it from is going to be a good seat. Yeah. We're eating dinner tonight in Central Park and it's raining but they have complimentary umbrellas right by the door. Thankfully, the 
trellis bar is actually underneath the overhang, so it's dry here. And there's a whole menu of food here that all looks pretty good. The thing that I wanted the most is the steak bites. These are marinated beef tips glazed with sweet high chili sauce, caramelized onions, garlic brush toast, and trellis bar signature sauce. You know, back in the Northeast, I used to order all the time steak tips, is what they would call them. At Uno's? At Uno's, yeah, I'd go to Uno's and order the steak tips. Whatever the glaze or the sauce is on the steak tip, it's so good. It's like sweet. I mean, they are juicy and tender. <laughs> but I don't think that sauce goes on the steak tips. Either way, it's five out of five. But I don't know how to, how I'm supposed to eat it. Did you hear this music? Are we at the Bellagio? It got Ocean's so loud. Like, is this what this is from? This is the end scene of Ocean's Eleven when they're all standing against the fountain. I've only there. seen that movie once. I don't recall that scene. And it sort of scene. pans the camera. Yeah, they're in front of the Bellagio. Yeah, right they, in front of the fountain. they stole money from a safe, right? $300 million. Yeah, I mean, good for them. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the sauces. You're right. They don't... I mean, maybe it is for the bread. I don't know. But you're right. Very juicy. It's good. Are you kidding me? I'd give it like a four out of five. I'm sorry. Narrowly missing the star. So we're here with our friends Views and Cues who ate a chop last night and you got like the Wagyu. Yeah, so I had the Wagyu filet and honestly this is better than the Wagyu filet I had last night. So it's the same kitchen. I don't know how that happened, but there's just more flavor. Like, it's like the sauce is good and the onions are good. Like the Wagyu filet just was like so plain tasting. It was plain. So... I think it's a 4.5, so. Fair enough. <laughs> it, it avoids the Ordinary Adventure star because of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't our fault. <laughs> no, we didn't do it. No. In addition to the steak, I also got the crab cake fritters with some spicy aioli dipping sauce. I love crab cakes, some Maryland crab cakes. Really nice presentation. Great flavor. There's a little bit of kind of pineapple salsa almost on top, which is delicious. I would give this a probably a four and a half out of five. I think I'm done giving five out of fives on this cruise ship until something like wows me again. This is a great dinner spot. If you just want something yeah. like super casual, great ambiance here too. We also ordered the mac and cheese poppers and this comes with a side of marinara dipping sauce. I love myself a good mac and cheese ball. So I am very excited to try this. These are really good. They're just as good as the ones you could get at Cheesecake Factory. I, we love Cheesecake Factory, so I feel like that's high praise. I would go ahead and give these, for cruise ship food, I'd give them a five out of five. They're only $6, you get seven of them. I feel like that is a bargain, and I would come here again and get them again. It's definitely good value. Yeah, like I feel like this is like the hidden gem on the ship. Like, don't tell anyone. Keep this our secret. There's like nobody else here. Everyone else here is just ordering drinks. People are sleeping on the food. <laughs> Ordinary Adventure Star. Yes. No? Plot twist? Definitely a 4.73. Oh my oh. god. Peter. So all during dinner, this random classical music kept playing like off and on. It would play for 30 minutes and then stop. And it was so loud. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is like. We're like, why did it abruptly start? And why did it abruptly Yeah. Start? And it turns out that it's coming from Luz, which is normally the jazz club. Maybe there's like a special band in there tonight. Because this definitely isn't jazz music. But it's cool. It pumps out throughout all of Central Park. I mean, do you want to turn into a little kid for... Yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> I wish I were big. I love the graffiti over here. Yeah, it's very... a little 
corner is really cute. I love it. Okay, let's do it. A man that is young in years may be old in hours if he's lost no time. Be careful over the years not to let it dissolve the beauty of thy brow. What's this basically mean? Like, always be adventurous, be young at heart? Right? I think so. Okay, I don't want to read the whole thing. But then we have our lucky numbers. Awesome. I love that this is here. Granted. One of the most happening places in this whole ship, I think, is the dueling piano bar. Every time we go by it, it is packed. There are people outside dancing and having fun. It seems like a, a real good time, but we haven't been able to get in. Now we're headed to this game show called Crazy Quest, which we've never been to, but we heard it gets crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who's ready for the Crazy Quest? <laughs> I need to see a cruise compass printed version from day one, day two, or day three. Go running, go running! No points for you, no points for you. Where's your compass? I threw it in the trash! For this quest, I need to see team number in hand and six men's belts looped together. Slings are the I'm not doing it. Six of them. For this quest, I need to see your team number in hand, and I need to see a picture of the White House. A picture of the White House. Seven. to record an outro on the actual ship but before we get to the outro we wanted to give you our final thoughts on icon of the seas was it worth it is it a better ship how does it compare what did you think of icon of the seas we had an amazing time we were on the inaugural sailing with a bunch of our friends on the biggest ship in the world so that and alone was you know a monumental occasion and i think it was amazing. I had the best time ever. Yeah, I think this ship, Royal, has really outdone themselves. Like, the design, it, it's a big ship, but it doesn't feel crowded. Yeah. Right? Like, they've added so many pools, so many water slides, so many hot tubs. <laughs> yeah, we love the pools and the hot tubs. <laughs> yeah. And, I don't know, I like how they opened up the Royal Promenade to the ocean. I, I like pretty much all the decisions except for the loud music at the hideaway. <laughs> but... The solarium, or I guess it's called the overlook, is beautiful. Yeah. I liked hanging out in there whenever we could. It was a gorgeous ship. Yeah, I think this might be Royal Caribbean's best ship. That said, should you book Icon of the Seas? I don't know. <laughs> right now, most of the inaugural year is close to sold out and because they did such a good job marketing it, the demand is so high that they basically raised the prices through the roof. Like it's 
as expensive as Disney at this point. Yeah, luckily when we booked, we got a way better deal because uh, the prices right now are kind of insane. So I would wait until the prices come down. But that being said, like it was an amazing ship. Yeah, like our second favorite royal ship, I think is Symphony of the Seas. And I would say like, you know, Symphony is like 90% yeah. as good as Icon of the Seas, but you can get uh, sailing on that for like 35% the price right now. <laughs> so maybe go on an Oasis class ship for now, wait until the prices come down on Icon class ships, but we both recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to see the rest of this adventure, we'll put the videos right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Josh and Kareen, Keith and Priscilla. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.